Hey everyone, and welcome to a quick VOD and Tips video this week. Now this week I'm gonna show you how to use images in a VOD Infusion application. Now this might seem like a really simple thing, but there are a couple of things to keep in mind. So let's jump into code and see how we can do this. So here again, I'm in a VOD Infusion project created with start.vaden.com. I have a single view here, and I started to make a little page about my dog, Nova. Now I want to add a picture of my dog that I have here in the same folder. And what you would kind of logically think that is a way to get this image here is to create a image tag, give it a source like this and an alternative like what dog like that. Now, if I do that though, you'll see that all we get here is a broken image. And that's because this front end folder that we're in is not getting deployed as such, but it's processed by Webpack into the actual output folder. So in this case, the problem is that Webpack isn't aware of this image. So we need to import it like the same way that we do with other resources that we use. So I'll import Nova from, and then the path here, nova.jpg like that. And then instead of using the path here, what I'll do is I'll interpolate the imported value here. And with that, you can see that we now get the image here. For th this to work, you need to have Webpack uh, file loader configured, which is something that uh, Fusion already comes with. So you can see that it's already configured to load any image files and font files and such uh, by copying them over to a static folder. Uh, while I was doing this video, I noticed that there's a little bug in start.von.com, meaning that there aren't the needed type definitions here. Uh, so without these, if we, let's uh, delete these for a sec and you'll see what the problem is. So now the TypeScript compiler doesn't know what this JPEG here is. So we need to have these here and I'll uh, leave those in the show notes for you to copy and hopefully by not too far after this video comes out, we'll have that fixed. All right, and one last thing that we're gonna take a look at is using images in CSS. So let's uh, delete the image there. We can delete the import and instead look here in our CSS file. So in CSS, things work exactly as you would think. So if I put in a background here, a, let's see, URL of nova.jpg and then give it a no repeat and save this it should just work this, the way that you would expect it to do. All right, so there you have it, a quick VOD and tip on how to use images in VOD Infusion. If you have any ideas for new videos or if you have questions on this one, uh, drop them in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.